Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, as promised, I have the coveted Anastasia Beverly Hills Lip Palette, and we are going to do a quick review, take a look at some swatches, and I'm going to put on a few colors for you guys. So um, let's get into it right off the bat. What comes in the box is the lip palette. It comes with a little mixing board. It's probably plastic that's coated in a little bit of, I don't know, shiny paint or something. And it might be coated in metal. And inside of the little palette, you get a tool that has a little bit of a scooper on it. And the other end has a small brush on it. Um, it does come with a little sheet that numbers the colors for you. That information is also on the back of the box. 
on the back of the box, you'll find information with ingredients. And it also notes that, I'm sorry, that's upside down. It also notes that the palette is vegan in case you're wondering about that and it, you're trying to decide whether or not you can purchase if that's an issue for you. It is completely vegan. Now, um, the reason why I decided to purchase this palette, I am not a lip palette person. Um, Lots of people put them out, but I'm not usually interested. One, because the colors are usually so similar that I find I don't need like five shades of red lipstick in a palette to carry around. It's pointless. And also, I usually find that the finish on the lipsticks in a palette are not interesting to me. I don't necessarily gravitate towards lip palettes that have um, that creamy or um, a sheen on the lip finished. So I just have never really been interested. So when I saw people doing um, reviews of this palette before it was released, when people were doing PR reviews, um, and I saw that it had matte finishes, I was really, really intrigued to see that. So I decided that I wanted to get it and I'm really, really excited to have it. So the interesting thing about this is that including the regular lip colors that are in here, it includes primary colors and the primary colors allow you to mix colors that you know you wouldn't normally be able to come up to to have now one of the reasons another reason why i wanted to pick up this palette is because if you're traveling you don't have to take lipsticks with you most of the time when i go somewhere out of town on a trip or whatever I'm taking, you know, three or four lipsticks with me because I don't know what I'm going to wear. I have to anticipate and figure out what I'm going to do based on what outfits I'm taking with me. I don't have to think about that when I have this. I could just put it in my bag and I don't have to think about it. So this is also compact enough where if I really, really wanted to because I was wearing something that's in this palette, I could stick it in my purse because my purses are huge. But if I was going on a night out, I couldn't take this with me. If you wanted to solve that problem, if you're thinking, okay, well, what if I buy this and I wear one of the lip colors and I'm going out, all you have to do is go to your local craft store and in the craft storage aisles, they have little tiny containers that you can put a little swatch of whatever lip color you're wearing in your container and take it with you. And then if you go in the paint aisle, they have even smaller containers that you would store leftover paint in and they have snap tops that are that are attached to the container that you could store lip color in. So if you're thinking about how am I gonna store a color if I mix something up and I wanna go out, that's what you could do with in this particular case. So um, I would say if you're thinking about it and you have never bought a lip palette before, and you're into matte finishes, I would say go ahead and get it because, well, because. So the palette retails, I believe it was $45. And of course I got it at Sephora because I was able to get it early and I want the freaking points. So um, I am going to show you swatches of the colors on my arm so that you can get a general idea of what they look like on my skin tone. For reference, I always tell everybody in matte colors, I'm an NC 43, not a 42, not a 45. And yes, my color kind of doesn't exist. <laughs> um, in NARS, I am the wonderful, fantastic Sarah Cruz. Um, and I decided I would swatch a couple of the colors for you that looked really interesting on my lips. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this little tiny, look, look at this little tiny lip brush. Now look at my lips. What am I supposed to do with this? <laughs> okay, so um, I am gonna swatch some of the colors that look interesting to me on my actual lips. I have a lip brush that's a little bit bigger. Um, so I am going to, so you know I'm gonna pick like purple or like purple, cause that's just what I like. I can't help it. Okay, um, let me, I know my lips are kind of shiny. 
I got on my Maybelline baby lips. Um, let's go with, I'm not going to pick the primary purple because it's really, really dark. And that's this one down in the corner. There is a primary purple in here. It is, or it's not primary purple. This is number 13. It's really dark. I'm not going to go for that. I'm going to go for, um, let's go for number nine. Let's go for this like lilac color, which is totally inappropriate. And I will probably wear with a lip liner in most circumstances. And let's see how that, and if you see my mustache growing back, just don't worry about it. It's not time to go get my mustache waxed so all you ladies who want to act like you don't have one i appreciate you so my boyfriend likes it Definitely say applying with a lip brush makes me take longer. Let me move you guys down so I'm not out of shot. Okay. So Beyonce's formation just came on in my head while I'm putting this on, so I must think I look good. <laughs> All right. I would say that they apply really smoothly and evenly, and a little bit goes a long way. So just, I don't know if you can see how much I used. I didn't use a whole lot to get that on there, but it looks really good. And it's very comfortable. It almost feels like I don't really have anything on my lips maybe just like a little bit of a lip balm. Um, it doesn't feel sticky at all, and it just feels really, really comfortable. Now, I haven't worn them at all, so I'll probably update the description box later. I'm gonna keep this on. I'll update the, the description box later and let you guys know how it felt after I left this on for a few hours, just to let you know if it feels drying at all or anything like that and then how it stayed on maybe after I eat something. The other matte lipstick that I wear all the time is matte, is MAC um, Russian Red. That's like my go-to matte lip color. So that'll be my comparison point for you guys. But regardless of how it compares to that particular product, the comfort level of this is just really, really nice. It just feels like there's I have nothing on in comparison. When I wear my Russian Red, I do feel like I have a product on my lips. So um, I would say just for that matter, it's really, really comfortable. So um, again, I'm not going to do a super long video where I swatch like a thousand of these colors because I know you guys have seen a bunch of these before it was released. I just wanted to do some basic swatches for you and show you what one of the colors looked like on. But I hope that it was useful for you. Again, it's available at Ulta, it's available at Sephora, and it is available on AnastasiaBeverlyHills.com. I would suggest getting it at Sephora or Ulta because of course you always want the points to build up so that you can get free stuff. And I don't have anything else to say. I'm gonna start rambling. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Ooh.